What's up, everyone? My name is Keisha. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are having a great day, a beautiful day, and a blessed day as always. So how many of you have heard the word, the phrase growing up? Like, or either I should say your parents told you, like, don't eat everybody's food. Like, you cannot eat everybody's food just because simply they may not can't cook. You just don't know what their house looks like. It's just many different reasons why they tell you not to eat everybody's food, right? So what I want to take from that is that you can't sit at everybody's table, right? In reference to life and eating actual literal food, um, the same applies to we can't listen to everybody, right? Who claims to be followers of God or believers of God. And this the, the reason why this is, is simply because there are people who are false. There are people who are operating with a spirit that is not of God. So they are coming to deceive God's people by portraying by appearances or even speaking out of their mouth um, as if they believe and follow Jesus Christ when really their life and who they really serve is something that they are trying to keep hidden. And they are living a life with a purpose of trying to deceive and, and lead God's people astray. Their motives and their intentions is not really truly based around God, right? So they are doing things without a pure um, without pure motives and intentions. And Paul talks about this so much in, I think, Corinthians and I think in, in, sec in Timothy, right? He speaks to um, false prophets, false teachers being among like God's people. So there are people who are dwelling among us in the churches and everywhere who are, again, wanting to by their words or either, or either like by the way that they carry themselves want you to believe one thing, but really they are living another. So the point of not eating at everybody's table, right? Not sitting and eating at everybody's table is if you aren't careful, you are going to be feeding, right? You're going to be getting fed from somebody who is not giving you the, the 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 nourishment and the bread that you need that is really of God, the truth that you need of God that's really going to help you grow in in this relationship and in your journey with God. If you aren't careful, you're going to be laid astray because people are going to water down the scripture, right? They're going to present the scripture in a way that sounds good, right? They're going to feed it to you in a way that is something that you may want to hear, right? Because there's a lot about the word of God that people try to leave out simply because it does not sound pretty and it does not feel good, right? So a lot of people try to speak, right? from a place of words that move people, right? That get people excited, that get people ready for blessings and breakthrough. And that is a part of what God does. But this is sometimes the way that most people like teach and preach, just the blessings and breakthrough, but they're not teaching you the back end, right? They're not teaching you like what it really means to be a follower of God, which is one of the things picking up your cross and dying daily. You have to die to your flesh every day. You have to deny yourself every day. You have to get rid of your old self. And a lot of people really aren't teaching that. They just want you to come to them, or right by by their soul. They, they're drawn to the vain things of this world because there are again people living for God, claiming to be, but they are also of the world. So they are preaching worldly things, right? They are preaching material blessings. They are pre they are preaching things that are like the the highlight and the glitz and the glamour. And a lot of the times, that is not what is 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 God want us to be moved by. God just wants us to be moved by truth. And if you are not getting fed from somebody who is feeding you the true revelations and meaning of God's word, then you're going to end up lost and deceived. And when you are lost and deceived, you are ultimately out of the will of God. So you're going to be questioning and wondering why certain things are happening in your life. Like why you just aren't satisfied with certain things or why it just seems like you can't 
get up from where you went. And it's just so many different things that will leave you in the state of confusion and even in the state of poverty, because we're talking about these people who just preach blessing, breakthrough, breakthrough. But at the same time, like you, you're, you're giving your money, you're doing all these things because they seem like they know what they're talking about. And they, and, and they, you believe them to be, you know, a, a believer of Jesus, but at the same time, like something is not adding up. You have to be careful about who you are listening to simple be careful who you are listening to because there is a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing and i said this before i think in one of my recent videos there is a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing and they are living among uh, of the true believers in the church especially so you have to begin to ask god for discernment and wisdom on who it is that you should be listening to because there comes a point in time in life and this is another thing that i had mentioned in one of my previous videos about getting off uh, of of the milk and getting to me there are some pastors that i believe that are just meant to feed you milk right and at, at, at a certain point in time in your walk you're going to have to transition from those people and find people who are actually giving you meat right and so with that being said you have to Ask God for this wisdom and discernment to know who is giving what and also who is who are the real from the fake. You have to be able to weed out to be able to discern, okay, this person I don't think. And the only way that you would be able to really fully know for real who is who is getting in the word of God. Because if you know the word of God for yourself, then when you are listening to somebody else also speak the word of God, you're going to be able to discern and detect where a lie is and and does and does this even sound like God, right? Like, I don't think God would tell you to say that type of thing. Be careful about what you're looking at on the surface. People's table can look nice. Just all the decor, everything just seems so well put together. The, it, everything just seems so nice, right? It just seems like, okay, this is a table I want to sit at. This is a table I will eat from. But that is simply of appearances. And if you only go by appearances, you are going to end up being fooled because there's more than what meets the eye. There is something deeper below the surface that tells you the complete truth about people. People always portray one thing. You have to look deeper and also see the fruit that they're bearing to be able to know for sure if what they're saying is real and are they really who they say they are. Once you get that insight, once you get that revelation, take heed, take heed and begin to make sure that you are sitting at the right tables and getting fed from a person who's going to fill you up. Not a person who's going to give you milk forever or not a person who's going to lead you astray, but make sure whoever it is that you are listening to, make sure that you're getting full. Make sure you're getting full to the point that you don't even need them, right? Like you can graduate, make sure that who's ever feeding you, that they're giving you, they're getting you to a place where you're elevating from that. And, and being able to just grow in whatever direction that looks like for you. But as long as you are continuing to get fed and be full, that will let you know that you are sitting and eating at the right table.